this our end time there is that that is very very rampant and circulating everywhere these days god grace everybody is going to god for favor everybody is seeking god of favor everybody is seeking god of miracle everybody is seeking god of testimony everybody is crying to god for favor for miracle for testimony god will answer you but do you understand that god will still judge every man everything we are doing now there is a day of judgment god will keep we should not forget that god is not the only god of blessing god is also the god of judgment we should not forget that god is the only god that bless us we should understand that god is only also god that will judge us god who did not pity sodom and gomorrah the lord sent fire and the fire destroyed sodom and gomorrah and god never regretted of taking that action i discovered that god will still do the same in our generation the bible makes us to understand that the patience of god does not mean that god is weak but god is giving man chance that man will come to repentance but sometimes man forgets that there is something greater that is ahead of him they are listening do you know there is something greater ahead of you i have seen that every man will end one day there is a point that each and every one of us will end they are listening do you know there is a place each and every one of us will end that day that is what i discover a place that every one of us will end our life will come to an end one day this our present life will not continue this thing we are seeing now this is flesh this thing you are seeing is ordinary sand it will not continue the bible makes us to understand that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of god so when we are busy running around looking for miracle looking for testimony looking for breakthrough looking for signs and wonder we must understand that there is another thing coming to us called the day of death which every one of us will face that is the death that every living have if you are still breathing in and breathing out i want you to know that you have you are owing that debt if you are still breathing in and breathing out you are owing that debt every living soul in this life is owing debt and that debt is debt which nobody will pay for you and which you cannot pay with money you cannot pay with material things you will pay with your own life that is saying that you have to die and give way don't forget that no matter what we are doing now our life will end one particular place one day our life is like a clock when you put a battery in that clock you discover that sometimes the clock will be going clock will be working clock will be working it will get to a state that the clock will stop working and that is exactly our life our present life we aspire one day everything we have everything we are gathering now we give up we give way we should not forget the day we will stand before god the bible said that every one of us will stand before the judgment seat of christ and each and every one of us will receive our reward remember there is a day you will stand before god Remember that is a day you will stand before God. Anything you are doing now, you don't need anybody to shake you. You're supposed to be shaking yourself. You're supposed to be shaking yourself. You're supposed to be monitoring yourself. You don't need anybody to be monitoring you because God and Satan is monitoring you. Sometimes we do something thinking that we have escaped that what we we did is secret. But we don't understand that even all the demons from the pit of hell we are present when we are committing that sin and even god and god and his angels they are also present watching us when we are living that kind of life when we are in a secret committing sin when we are in a secret committing sin committing all sorts of atrocity we think that god is not monitoring us let me tell you child of god even satan monitors you so we must understand that there is a day that every one of us our life will come to an end and we return back to god and the bible said that we all shall stand before the judgment seat of Christ i don't know what shall be your reward but i pray that you live a good life and the lord will bless you god will prosper you i believe in righteousness god will prosper you and prosper you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my facebook page bye god bless you